today and yesterday have been a fantastic opportunity for us to share good practice from, from Wales, but also to hear uh, stories from the rest of the UK. For me, conferences of this nature are all about networking. What is the opportunity for people to hear about what is going on in other places? It will motivate them to think about new ideas and apply them in their own practice. I think the programme today is really important because it brings together all four countries across the UK, including the Republic of Ireland, but also the programme includes lots of workshops from um, practitioners and organisations, so it's sharing practice across the UK and helping us learn from good practice that's out there already. I think the, the thing that's been most inspirational really has been the focus on the service user and on hearing people's stories, hearing family stories and really putting people at the heart of um, the initiatives that are going forward. In 2013 my son Jordan had went into a meltdown um, through transitioning I think it was available because of his age because he was like 17 not really 18 there was no bed available I ended up we had to care for him it's about the person the individual and what care and attention they need I really believe that with the uh, the strength and the commitment framework one of the important things is that we, we follow through and we make sure people are doing what they've promised and what they've committed to do that uh, in, in terms of inspections and everything else that we actually hold people to account to make sure that they are delivering that we're, that we're open that we're honest with people with learning disabilities and they'll be able to feed back in their experiences I think it's been hugely important because it's really brought to the fore some of the key issues that uh, people are wrestling with in learning disability and to hear learning disability specific issues particularly from the nursing perspective has been really really valuable. What we did was to try and get nurses and all those other people that were present to really think about the contribution that learning disability nurses could make across the lifespan and I think it seems to have generated an awful lot of ideas so the challenge now is to articulate some of those and to put that into a format so that we can use it to take this forward. I think it's really important that we do continue to work at the UK level so that we can coordinate efforts across the UK um, but I think it also requires action at a number of different levels so we've got a half a UK but we also need to have the national and the local um, and to try and make sure that we're sort of coordinating those efforts and I think it's also it's what's been really important is to have the commitment of the Chief Nursing Officer um, or the Chief Nursing Officers across the UK and I hope that you know we will have that um, continued commitment going forward. It's just a fantastic opportunity to bring so many people passionate about learning disabilities together to work on some of the um, national programmes and some of the key areas but also that chance to, to learn and hear from each other so that we can all improve our practice. I think the one message I'd like to leave the delegates today is, is just how important it is that we are realistic about what we, how we work with people with learning disabilities. It is realistic that we can have uh, people with learning disabilities have safe and equal healthcare and, and good positive outcomes. Realism not idealism is something I talk about a lot. Let's look for better alternatives. Let's make small increments and let's make that longer, wider change over a period of time. So for me, there is a vibrancy, there is a passion about learning disability care that hasn't been there before. Strengths and the Commitment will have a legacy if people take the opportunity from these conversations, from this work, and keep going to drive improvements. We've seen some really good progress to date, but it has to keep going. This is but a start of the process, not the end point. Hello, my name is Andre.